Hey, hello everybody, it's me Cyber Soldier, and in today's video I'm going to show you the updated version of my own project called Rover Desktop Assistant. Those of you who don't remember, Rover is a desktop assistant similar to the Bunzi Buddy, but unlike the Bunzi, it provides more features such as GDI and system corruption. But before we're gonna jump into the demonstration, I have to say that this updated version is not new at all, it's actually one year old. The reason why I didn't make a video about it, it is because it's technically not finished yet, but after one year I changed my mind and I I decided to make it publicly available even with the source code. So if you are willing to try it out by yourself, you can download it from my GitHub. The link is in the description. Of course, it is for education purposes only. Please don't try it on your own machine. I hope you understand it. Okay, so it has been a while since I recorded a video about the Rover desktop assistant. The previous video was about showcasing the first beta version, but as you can see here, this is the version 1.2 beta. And yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna show you what this what this rover can do and i'm gonna also show you what have been changed so as you can see in this folder we have three files that's because these two files junk cleaner and rover lock these two applications are part of the rover.exe they are kind of part of it so without further ado let's drag these files on my desktop uh, we can get rid of this folder i will leave these two files aside first i would like to introduce you the newer version of the rover assistant then we're gonna jump into these two files. So let me launch this the Rover Desktop Assistant and as you can see it's exactly the same, like at least the setup window is exactly the same. So let me uh, change my username to clutter and set the language to the English or when I try to set it to the Russian then it will not work of course because I don't have Russian language installed on this operating system and yeah we are good to go. You must restart your computer, hey, okay. Since this is the first time we've met, I want to tell you something about myself. Okay, I'm it gonna just, I'm gonna drink my coffee you... while he's talking. Bye. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. I, I forgot to say something. This video is gonna be very interesting, so... Stop interrupting me, Rover. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something. You should sleep. You should go to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Sleep. That's right. <laughs> So guys, I forgot to tell you that you should watch this video till the end because it is going to be very interesting. Because, you know, every video is interesting on my channel. So watch the video till the end. Let him wake up. And yeah, so what have been changed? If I open this menu by right clicking on it, then as you can see here, the menu has have been changed a little bit. Hey, bro, like stop doing these noises, man. Like, oh my god, he's, he's a bit loud. So I'm gonna like lower the volume. So as you can see here, the menu have been uh, updated. So now we can finally like uh, search for things much faster because of these categories. So first I would like to show you what have been improved in GDI section. And as you can see, a lot of things have been added here, but there are also like old things as it's filter or invert colors. I introduced these things in the previous video. So I will not jump into these things. I would like to only introduce you and showcase the new things so okay uh, like stop rover the new effect which have been added is a lighting so what does it actually do so if I gonna click on it then oh my god that's crazy right another feature which have been added here is this stop GDI so if I con uh, click on stop GDI then as you can see the GDI effects have stopped I've also noticed that most of you don't know about this feature I can actually change the size of the rover by clicking the arrow keys. So if I'm gonna like, if I'm gonna click on down arrow key, then as you can see, the dog is very small. And let me tell you, man, this this is so cute. So if you like small things, what do you mean by that? Like this is very cute. Look at this. Look at him. And I don't know why, but he's still showing me this picture. Like why are you keep showing this picture, man? Like nobody cares. Okay, so that was the lighting payload. So now we have a brushes. We have some predefined ones. For example, the for example the cross. And as you can see, it just displayed the hedge brush with random color. Oh my god, I'm so thirsty. So that that were uh, brushes. And also we have a pattern brush, which will open this menu, and you can like create your own uh, brush if. You want so for example if i uh, set this to 255 and i will leave these bytes then it will display something like this yeah as you can see and if you want to like create something very unique then you can like change these bytes to something else but if you don't know how it works then i wouldn't touch on these settings because this is just for nerds okay this is just for like people who understand how it works so what's next now we also have the no escape payload which just doing this as you can see oh my god this is the no escape 
escape payload from no escape malware. It's doing this. That's it. I don't know what else did you expect. Okay, you know what? This is very annoying. Never mind. And yeah, we also have the Mandela effect, which is, oh my god, so fucking cursed, as always. <laughs> if you like want to have a Mandela on your computer, or if you want to like at least have the similar experience with the Mandela malware and you don't really want to like destroy your computer, then you can launch the rover and like click on the Mandela effect and there you have it. This is only the effect, so it will not corrupt any files on your drive. Okay, so what else we have here? So yeah, this was very cool effect. And the reason why these are like separated from the GDI section is because these uh, these GDI effects under the GDI section uh, like uses the C++ code, but the GDI plus uses mostly the C# -sharp code. So that's why I change it. We also have the saturation. You might not realize it, but this payload just like increase the colors, increase the brightness of colors. So it's more bluish right now. Okay, so what else we have here? We also got the contrast which will just increase the contrast of the screen my favorite GDI payload is of course the pixel 8 it will just turn everything into like minecraft that's crazy right that would be it for the GDI payloads we can actually make the rover angry this was a thing in the previous version for example if you click on the tell a joke or tell a fun fact then you could make the rover angry that's because the rover for some reasons doesn't like to tell jokes or tell fun facts he, he he just doesn't like it for him it's just annoying so as you can see he's pretty angry about it because you know he, he just hate it don't ask me why i decided to like make it like that so he, he hates this and also if you click on the rover by left clicking then you can like tickle him but if i if i do it more often then he eventually leave and be angry oh my god that was fucking rude man that was fucking rude that's a not Bye, good behavior a man and as you can see he just left because he got angry you know what a wonderful day clutter oh yeah yeah <laughs> that's a wonderful day so what's the next feature the next feature is under the tricks and animations which have been added this feature have been added because i i don't know it was a cool idea i guess <coughs> okay i'll be nice don't hurt me what if i do it one more time <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. Okay, he's angry. He's angry. <laughs> oh shit. Fuck no. If you do this to me again, I'll rip off your banana and balls. Okay, that that's that's pretty that's gore. That was very aggressive. Like that was very mean. Oh you again? Today is going to be a long day clutter. Shut the fuck up, you dog. You naughty dog. Okay, so that was a slap feature. Yeah, I know. Very... <coughs> so let's move to tools and applications. And here you can see that there are some games and terminal. Well, unfortunately, I didn't manage to finish the games. So if you click on it, then nothing will happen. And also the terminal doesn't work. I didn't finish this project, so that's why a lot of things doesn't work here. If you don't know what I meant by terminal, I wanted to make custom CMD, something like command prompt. but just a rover command prompt but unfortunately i gave up on this project one year ago and we have also the applications for example the rover net 2.0 i wanted to improve the internet browser because the previous one was very buggy and didn't even work well there is also a rover paint i would like to tell you something about it yes i wanted to make something like microsoft paint but inside the rover so yeah that's why it's here and lastly we have junk cleaner which is this application but i managed to finish this junk cleaner in a rover but this this one is like very simple and this one is with ui so this junk cleaner is just an updated version of this uh, this one in the rover so if i click on the, the junk cleaner then it will actually do something useful for our pc this operation may take several minutes so it will search for the temporary and the log files, you know, the useless files in the system. It will search for them and it will try to delete them. So as you can see here, it deleted 116 files and some of the files couldn't be deleted because they are running or either they are under some system protection. So that's why it failed. And as you can see here, it managed to release 13 megabytes. And here you can see the total size of the main drive, which is 63.3 gigabytes. 
this is actually not a lie because if I go here, as you can see here, it actually matches the same size as it's in this PC. That's everything from the rover application. Now I will show you the other two applications. Okay, my dad is calling me. Oh my god, my dad is calling me. Why always? Let's take a look at these applications. So first, let's take a look at the junk cleaner. And as you can see, we got this uh, cool UI, I guess. So this application is much is better version of the junk cleaner. And you know, you know what? This dog makes me fucking angry. So let's like let him sleep, okay? Yeah, go to sleep. So we're gonna like continue with C drive. And as you can see here, it like updated the driver size and available space. So this application is very useful because it can. Like get rid of the temporary and unnecessary files in your system so if i click on the quick scan it can like search for these files let's see how many files will be released my question is uh, does it even work because i i don't think so oh i know why it doesn't work because there aren't any files in temporary so it will try to like delete all temporary files from this folder we'll call it templates as you can see here this folder is empty so it will not do anything it's actually doing something so let's wait for a while it should like get rid of the file it might take a while and this here is the list of all files which have been detected it detect 152 junk files and it released oh my god it released decent amount of megabytes like this application is actually useful guys but as you can see here it actually like released some data we have a proof here so let's go to the rover lock so here we can like encrypt a bunch of files so let me choose for example the junk cleaner and this password must be 16 characters long as you can see, it actually like encrypt this file. If I click on this file, then it will not launch this file, unfortunately, because it has been encrypted. And if I would like to decrypt it, then I need to choose the file again. And now let's try to decrypt it. And now this file should be accessible. So if I click on it, then as you can see, it works perfectly fine. That's pretty much it from this Rover Desktop Assistant. And let me tell you something about the future of the Rover Desktop Assistant. This current project will not be updated anymore because I would like to focus more on WPF rather than on Windows Forms. That's because WPF is more customizable than Windows Forms. The design of the character may change as well because I want to make it more suitable for Windows 11. So you can expect the bigger changes in the next version, which is gonna be beta 2.0. But that's a topic for another video, of course. So let me know what you think about this project in the comments. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you and goodbye.